The Netherlands is a unique country because large parts of the land lie below sea level. Water is everywhere, in the cities, in the fields and just below the surface. Without man-made dikes and pumps, a quarter of the country would be inundated within weeks. This applies especially for the western, most populous part of the country. These areas are literally metres below sea level. The land remains dry thanks to an advanced system of waterworks. How did this happen? Was the Netherlands created by the Dutch people in an ongoing battle to reclaim land from the sea? Unlikely. The area has been dry since prehistoric times, in times without dams, dikes and pumps. For the answer, let's visit one of the most famous elements of the Dutch landscape, the windmill. Since 1725, this windmill near Zouwle in the province of Utrecht has been pumping water out of the low forwards. We are in a moment fijn afgehaald. Dan staat er zonder water. Dan gaan ze het water eraf halen, zodat het weer boven komt dat we kunnen werken. Doordat je water weghaalt, zakt het weer in en klinkt het in. En zo is dat dus steeds, en dat is niet alleen hier, dat is bijna in heel Nederland, en overal die polders steeds verder in gingen klinken. Die hadden op een gegeven moment ook uh, molens, die van poldermolens, die eigenlijk geen tasting meer hadden, die dus geen water meer konden bereiken om eruit te voeren. A surprising story. Peat mining for fuel in the past centuries has lowered the western part of the Netherlands. Windmills and later pumping engines were then needed to keep the areas dry. But this water extraction caused subsidence of the loose organic peat soil of the wetlands. With the new lower soil level, even further and deeper drainage became necessary. Wetland expert Marcel Silvius of the organization Wetlands International can explain where this all will lead to. We do see that there's an a continuous drainage of all the peatlands in, uh, in, in the, the provinces of Holland uh, and in uh, Friesland, Groningen, etc. And these areas uh, become increasingly vulnerable also with the uh, uh, increasing sea level. And uh, it remains to be seen in the long term how uh, feasible it is, uh, both in the technical but also in the economic sense, to keep pumping these areas dry. So, no heroic battle of people reclaiming land from the sea. Just a story of a nation that burns its soil in a stove and is now struggling to keep dry feet.